looking at observational data, you just cannot infer the causality from it. The best you can do is to try to make your data, you try to make your model as interpretable as possible, and then it's essentially a rhetorical act to try to figure out from the observational model what might be causal <coughs> about it. In the case of the times, it's something like you can predict which people are going to cancel, but that's predicting what's going to happen in the absence of some intervention or treatment. What you really want to know is what is the intervention or treatment that would minimize that probability. And that's also true in, in drug data. So you can look at you know just observational studies about different people using drugs and then the outcomes. Um, and you it's been shown, David Madigan at Columbia has done some great work showing that depending on what you control for in your model, you can make the sign of a drug be positive or negative. That is just basically looking at people in the wild as opposed to people in a randomized control trial. Mm -hmm. There's just no way to figure out if a particular medical treatment or medical drug is actually increasing or decreasing the risk of um, some morbidity or some bad effect. So uh, regardless of how big the data are, uh, it's, it's really a tough problem to try to um, impose some sort of causal meaning. And this was known long before big data. This is a... Uh, in, in statistics, we talk or they talk about structural modeling as opposed to predictive modeling, and it's a it's a getting from prediction to prescription is a is a is a real uh, philosophical break.